Hi guys, Omar with Overland You Just Cause, and in this video, I am trying to figure out this damn Chinese heater. Now, I got the Chinese heater a couple months ago. I tested it out initially, you know, two weeks after I got it, it worked fine. However, it didn't work with my EcoFlow. The goal is to have the EcoFlow inside the tent, um, powering the Chinese heater while being able to charge my other devices. When I would plug it into the EcoFlow, it would start for about two minutes and then cut off. So I'm thinking maybe the wire is too long and too thin or the EcoFlow doesn't have enough juice to power it, which I highly doubt. So let's try to figure this out. I have a trip coming up this weekend with Jay from Finding Jay on YouTube and it's supposed to be cold and raining. So yeah, I, I need to have this handled um, because the only way it runs now and the only way I was able to run it the last time when I first tested it out was through the battery that's inside the trailer um, and it ran just fine. So yeah, a couple things going on. I'm not 100% sure. I'm no pro for show when it comes to like voltage and amperage and things like that. So I'm just trying to figure it out. So come on, let's do this. EcoFlow diesel heater. I'll talk more about it when I'm actually using it and, and you know when I go out camping this next weekend I just want to be able to get it started. So the way I have it set up is I'll pull this out and then I'll pull my diesel heater out and if you notice I got a little stand here pops out There's the setup. My cord is in here, keep it wrapped up and kind of hanging so it's not all over the place. The remote is in here. I'm gonna start cutting wires, reconnecting to the new 12 volt that I just got. It's going from a 14 gauge to a 12 gauge. So hopefully that helps, but we'll see. Let's go. I'm trying to figure out why this battery, which should be able to power this, is not able to. So right now it's drawing 12.4 volts. It turns off after, yep, it goes. I'm not getting it. I don't understand it. 13.3 volts is what it's connected to here. You can see there, I'm at 105, 6, 7 watts, and it turns off. <sighs> All right, so let's try this. Let's try getting it at the lowest setting right here. So we're going to go from 5.5 hertz. Seven, that's the lowest. So at the lower hertz, it dies a lot faster. Right now, I'm using 12.9 volts, 12.7.5, 12 12.2. 12 Damn. So I couldn't get it to turn on using this EcoFlow right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll unplug it when I hook this up to the actual battery, come on, it actually works. I don't understand it. All right, now watch. 
12-3. At 12-2 is where it died with the equal flow. 12-2, 11-9. Yeah, so with the equal flow, once it drops below 12.2 volts, it dies. And with the battery, it's able to drop to 11.5 and still stay on. It's still giving it enough juice. And right now, it's in its warm up stage. So there you go. There goes the. the uh, plug warming up and then warm air will come out in the next couple minutes if that all right so i'm understanding it now the 1.7 hertz that's the it goes all the way to 5.5 i think and that's the just the pressure slow like the volume the, how hard it comes out how soft it comes out so obviously 1.7 hertz is it pushing out warm air slowly 5.5 is full blast so this battery isn't capable of keeping this thing on when it first turns on because the voltage drops below 12.2 um, I think it is for the battery and the lithium battery up there inside the trailer is able to keep it on so I guess what I'm gonna have to do is when I'm traveling, the fridge is plugged into the lithium battery inside the trailer. And then when we're at camp, um, or when it's time to hook the heater up, I'll just switch some things around. I'll take the EcoFlow battery here and plug it into the refrigerator because that's, I've already tested that out. It, uh, I mean, it's like, almost three days of power once it's cold right that's already cold and, and going and I just connect the heater to the battery sleep overnight and then uh, when we drive I just have to keep charging that battery inside the trailer until I get some um, some solar panels but I guess that's it guys Still a mystery. I'm still learning this thing. I have uh, a camping trip coming up this weekend with uh, my buddy Jay from Finding Jay, and it uh, should be a lot of fun. It's gonna be cold. That's why I'm trying to figure this out beforehand. I've been super busy and just not kind of getting around to it. Um, but I'll talk more in detail about it once uh, I'm at camp and it's working, and I'll show you how I plan to uh, set it up. I hope you liked the video and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.